So what I got today is I got some new tools in. To be honest, I've had these tools for, I think about three weeks, maybe longer. They've been riding around the back seat of my truck where I picked them up at my gate. These are from DFM Tool Works up in Chicago. I met him uh, a couple years back at Workbench Con, and uh, then I seen him this last year when I was up there, or this year when I was up there. So I ran into him back at Blade Show uh, last month, or earlier this month, whenever it was, and it reminded me that I needed to order some of his squares. I'd been wanting some. And I do have some card scrapers that he makes, and I've had them for... Uh, several years I got them at work bench con a couple years ago, but so let's get this thing unboxed I ordered a few things He has a little combination deal on his little squares and he's done some updates on them Boy, that's a heavy package and He's got a little kit that you can order and I ordered that So we got a few extra things there order and we'll get on that in just a minute. So we got a good old nice big sticker but these things right here, look at these. That is a nice little old speed square. Now the kit that I ordered, we got three pieces. So we got that one, we got an itty bitty, we got a little 90 degree, and then we've got these pins. So you can use this as a center finder if you want to on a board and uh, you just pop your pins in there. There's all different kinds of uses for this. So these are anodized dark blue. This one here looks like it's a little bit darker than the bigger square and that makes sense. So that is some real nice stuff right there. I tell you, they're real light and they're just real nice. So if you wanted to, on this piece right here, you could drop this pin in on a small board. You could drop that pin in there and then put your mechanical pencil right down in the middle of it and uh, scribe you a line. Find your center on a small board, like a three quarter board, like using woodworking. Pretty old neat. You can use these pins for alignment too. They also go inside of a little small square. Now, if we look at this small square right here, we've got all kinds of little holes for your increments to be able to scribe. So you take your mechanical pencil, drop her down in one of them holes and uh, be able to describe we've got three inch scale on there and it looks like we have uh, every eighth inch we have a hole that's machined right into it one of the nice things about what he's doing it's all american made he's doing the production right there where he lives he's doing it himself and he set up a uh, shop and took a risk to be able to do it so you know that, that says a lot nowadays now this one here is really nice we got all kinds of different increments on there. So I am impressed with these. This is very clean. Y'all did a, a nice, a nice job on this. And these are gonna stay in the shop and not end up on the job site like I am so prone to happen. So I ordered a couple more things since we was making an order, figured we might as well spend a little bit of money. The other thing that I ordered was the saw height gauge for the table saw that I need to get cleaned up and start using again. So let's take a look at that. Oh yeah. So it's made out of solid aluminum machine, just like the squares are. And you got all your different heights. So over here we got it in eights, one eighths, three eighths, five eighths, and over here you got the corresponding a quarter inch, a half inch, three quarter inch, up to two inches. So you'd be able to put that on your table saw, just like that slide it over find where the top of your blade is and make sure you got your height that's a nice piece right there the other thing i ordered was this dowel plate that he makes and this is this is rightly heavy right here let's take a look at this this is going to be steel because you could take you some large dowels or will you some dowels down out of some oak or whatnot get them close and then put them in the drill and then run them through this thing. Now he's got this wrapped up nice. Most likely this is oiled up and that way it won't rust. We might have to just keep it that way. Let's look at this piece. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh my. So that is something right there. So if we look real close, we can see that's all 
etched in. I think those may be, the numbers may be machined in and then an etching done for the shadow box around them. I'm not 100% sure. We'd have, to, we'd have to ask him about that. But it looks clean. It catches a light. Kind of got a bronze tint to it. See if y'all can see that right there. Yeah, that is sharp right there. And that's a heavy plate. Comes with two screws. So I guess you could go ahead and just screw it to something. Maybe suspend it and run your dials through it. So we have from an eighth inch all the way up to seven sixteenths. No, all the way up to five eighths. So we'll go from eighth inch up to five eighths. And if you wanted to, you could take a dial. It's about yay size. Run it through there. That'll trim it down. Keep going smaller, smaller, smaller till you get it like you want it. That's a nice, neat piece. Very interesting. You just don't see a lot of that in a shop, so that'd be handy. So we got a full chart of instructor cons right here and uh, tells you how to do it. So what he's talking about on here is you could put this in a uh, wood or soft metal jaw vise, this lip right here. You would set it in your vise, close your vise, and let it ride, ride right on top of the vise jaws just like that, and then you could go straight down with your piece of wood. And of course, you have a screw hole right here and a screw hole on the bottom. And he sends you a set of uh, set of holes. Got full instructions on the back right here. Look at that. It even talks about Whitland or chamfer the leading edge of the stock. So I guess I'm not the only one that talks about Whitland a little bit. But so all in all, I would say this is a very nice package. And uh, if you uh, could use some of this, he makes a few other pieces. Like I said, he makes a set of card scrapers for woodworkers uh, that are real nice. I've had for several years. So it is DFM Tool Works in Chicago, Illinois. You can look him up. He's on Instagram, DFM Tools. And uh, you might want to reach out and uh, place an order with him. American made, jobs right here in the good old United States. And a well-made product. Yes, everybody, I did order this on my own Dineros. And... Uh, I just figured it was it was worth giving a review about and an unboxing on because it's an American company and he's trying to work people and build things right here in the good old country that we live in right here in the United States. So y'all check them out, DFM Toolworks.